Hello everyone, Robbie here from Splash Penny. Hope you're having a great day. So today we are discussing Blue Link, the smart control from Graco Airless Sprayers. And um, we are using a 490 PC Pro that has the Blue Link on it. You are not going to see me, but you're going to hear my voice. I do apologize about the background and the noise on here, this video, but um, it's important that you guys get this information because there's a lot of cool features with this. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I just turned my sprayer on. Um, I have it in the off position, so let's scan for sprayers. There's my sprayer, her name is Elvira. There you go. So now that you can tell that my sprayer's on there. My sprayer's already been connected and set up, so you'll need to download the Graco Blue Link app to do this, but once you do, you turn on your machine, make sure your Bluetooth's enabled on your phone or your iPad. This is awesome because you can see this, I'm gonna hit connect, so it's connected now. There's no pressure established on it. It tells you what sprayer you have. So if you have multiple sprayers, this is where this feature comes in. You can actually keep an eye on all of the sprayers that you have. Um, I've not cleared out anything from any prior jobs. Just know you're gonna see what's been on here. It tells you your serial number. So if you need to know what serial number you have, if you have any you know, maintenance on there. But let's go back on the back screen. So you see I'm connected. You can view your maps on the sprayer. Let's hit this real quick. What this does is tells you where your sprayer's at. So expand on here. I am in Utah. I am in Tooele or Grantsville, Utah. You can tell that's where my sprayer's at. So had you had multiple sprayers, I can't put one on here, but see where it says Salt Lake City? If I had a crew in Salt Lake City running the sprayers, I could tell where that sprayer is. If there's a dysfunction on there, we can go. But look at the bottom of the screen. Um, it tells you your sprayers, so if you click that, it tells you what sprayers are at. But let's go back to the map. Um, hit the jobs. This is a really cool feature um, that you see on here. So we have a house that we've done. It tells you how many gallons we've used on there. There was an unassigned location. Um, you can assign each job location. This really gets into when you have multiple sprayers out there, you know what the job is. But it's also a great way to keep track um, of how many gallons you're using per job. Because the neighborhood we spray in on it, our exteriors, the homes are really different, but there's a lot of the same type of homes. So that's where this um, assigned job gallons come into. So hit that. It tells you it's in progress today. This is the one I'm on. I've not sprayed anything. We're getting ready to spray some cabinets. Um, but you can tell when it was synced and when it wasn't synced. It says on this December on uh, 12, 5, and 19. I just haven't synced the blue link to it on my end. You can go to complete. So if you've completed a job, you have it here. I did erase those because it's the new year. We have the in progress and then we have upcoming. This is a really cool feature. So this is the house I'm at. I think I'm going to spray 10 gallons of um, primer and uh, cabinet spray on there. So we have that on there. It tells us where you know where that spray is. Once we start spraying, it'll go. So if I you know that's in Park City, we're going to be at at, Glen, at Eagle Glen. Once we get up there, I can minimize that. That way, if I bought 10 gallons, but we actually end up using 15, it'll keep that record on this for you. Let's get out out of this screen. Let's go back to the main uh, to the main screen right here. So if you had multiple sprayers, they'd be here. Let's go to maintenance. This is a really cool feature. Um, so my sprayer's name is Elvira. I did set this temporarily. So right now, I put a note in here to repack my pump at 2,500 gallons. Right now, I'm at 2,493, as you can tell. Um, if you hit the maintenance record, it'll tell you any time. This is a newer spray I've, I have. This was a demo I did. I put a note in here that my sprayer was being noisy and needs attention. Um, the component, maybe I was hearing it from the spray tip. Uh, and you can add a note in here. The reason that you do this um, is, see where it says Dan Johnson? Dan Johnson's my repair guy at my spray store. So on December 5th, we looked at it and he said, hey, to fix your machine, it's $102. He ordered the parts, they get it complete. Now remember, this is just a demo of what this machine does for you. So when you get your machine to Blue Link, you want to set this up, put in the goals, read the paperwork, and it tells you on there. Now if you have an open one, because you can tell that one was complete, I have nothing in open. But if I wanted to open one up, we go back to maintenance, go to Elvira, and 
if there's an error code that pops up, this is where it's going to tell you. So with the blue with the blue link, it's really awesome because it tells you what error you could possibly have, and it'll fill it out there. Go back, Graco Parts book. If the spray source is telling you you need to get a certain type of thing, you can go to the Graco Parts and either order it or have it ordered for yourself. That is the maintenance setup. If you had multiple machines, you would click on that machine. It would tell you there. Let's go to more. So you have your account. So this is your personal account. That's me. That's my email. You can edit the account. Um, depending if you're in the UK or in the US or wherever, you can change it depending on how you read yours. We do ours with PSI. Let's back this up. Then you have company information, which is my company information, Splash Co. on 490 Great Go Avenue in North Pole, Utah. This is one of my favorite things. If you look at company sprayers, right now we only have one of our sprayers in here. So her name's Elvira. There's different things. Remember I told you you can do the maintenance? So let's say I wanted to change this to uh, 3200. We're actually getting a repack here soon. Repack pump. But if you hit the drop down, it's already on there. But I'm going to change that to routine maintenance once we have uh, 3200 gallons sprayed. I'm going to hit save. Boom. So let's go back to maintenance. Now look, it tells you how many more gallons are remaining if there's a maintenance record on there. I hope you're staying with this. Let's go back to more, click on your machine. Let's hit uh, locate my sprayer. So this is actually where we're at with the sprayer now, which we already went to, but it does give you a decisive address. So if in the event your machine was ever stolen, let's pray that it doesn't, but if it was, and a pawn shop gets it, they know about the Blue Link program, they can put this on and turn it on. You can connect to this and see exactly what pawn shop it was done if you needed to. If you wanted to remove your spray, you just hit remove. Um, you have your reminders on right there. Let's go back to more. You have the Blue Link support. These are gonna take you to websites if you have any questions on it. Customer care, find a distributor. That's where all that goes. But let's go to the fun part about this. We are gonna connect to it. I'm gonna turn my sprayer on because we're ready to actually spray right now. So let's uh, prime this first. Okay, so you're gonna see the PSI on there right now at 94. We just are getting this up. Now I'm only spraying um, a primer right now. So I'm going to turn my sprayer up. The tip that we're using, this is important. The tip that you're using is very, very important because we're using a 210 FFLP tip. So that is a very important part of knowing where your pressure needs to be at, dependent upon what sprayer, where your PSI needs to be at. So this is one of the great features. I gotta back the pressure off, so watch. We're gonna flush it real quick. And turn that off. Um, today, on top of that, I'm actually running the new Graco Contractor PC gun. If you've not heard about this or seen it, it's the compact gun, which is awesome. It's a smaller gun that they just came out with in 2020. Contact your local distributor for this, but uh, let me get this gun connected on here, and we will be ready to go. Hold on one second. I got to do something here real quick that I uh, forgot to do. And I don't want to edit the video because what's the fun in editing? But you can tell with this um, machine, you're going to have uh, all the features at your hand. But let's get into, um, while, we're, while I'm connecting this gun, i got to change the whip on here because with the contract PC gun, there's a different hose you have to attach to it that I uh, unfortunately just forgot to attach when I was connecting it. But um, with the multiple machines, so if you're running multiple job sites, it allows you to see what's going on. Now I don't like to call a tattletale a tattletale, but if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it is what it is. 
But as a business owner, we know that we're the ones that are responsible for our business. We're the ones that need to know jobs are being done. We have customers that are waiting for us to get these jobs done. The cool thing about the Blue Link is if your guys are on a job site and they tell you they've been there since X o'clock painting, and unfortunately sometimes you do question them, you, uh, you actually can go on your Blue Link app and uh, call them out. You can see how many gallons they, they're, they've gone. And I'm not saying, you know, trust everyone. That's kind of a good motto to have in life. But you just never know. So with the Blue Link, it allows you to see what's going on. But for these guys, for you guys that have multiple sprayers, I, mean, I know one guy up north in uh, Maine, he has 12 sprayers. So he can actually be at his desk making sure that the jobs are getting done, keep, a, keep an eye on his... Um, machines for maintenance for where they're at if they're on the job site it also allows him to um, make sure that the PSIs are on on their right as well because if they have a question you know if your guys are blowing through paint you can actually come back and see the uh, PSI on there so let's turn this back on it's gonna go out for a second Back up. I'm going to get to about 1100 PSI on here. Let's reconnect that. So I actually need to back out because we, there we go. Now we're connected. Okay. So this is what happens if you jump up. So I'm at 1500. Now, one thing on your Blue Link machines, on the Graco machines, when you're looking at your pressure, there's one that says a rack X and it's green, and then the big one is the blue. So you want to make sure that you're not, um, that you're staying with where your tips are, as we discussed. So I need to pull that pressure back down. I need to get up to about 1100 to start, because we're only spraying primer right now. So I'm at 11, there we go. Let's clean this line out because they got some water in here. We just got done cleaning this machine. So I'll jump it up so you can see. So you have that press right there, 2,000. Bring that back down, because I want to be at roughly um, about 1,200 for my primer. And then watch, I'll let go. It'll go back up to 13 to 1,500. So when you start, you can tell there's a a big difference from 1500 when there's no pressure on the trigger going down to about 1200 so it drops about 200 to 300 psi while you're spraying but i gotta turn this up let me get this water out of here faster so there's my max psi is 3000. dial it back down because i'm getting white coming out Here we go. So let's bring that pressure back down. Keep your finger on the trigger. So at 1250, that's where I want to be at. I'm comfortable at 1250 with primer and these tips. Read the specs of the tips. There we go. So let's take this over here. As you guys can follow me because you're not in the same room with me. Come on, splash. So what we're doing is we're spraying doors and we're spraying the boxes of the cabinet with primer. We're doing extreme, extreme bond. I'm not going to spray all of them, but I want to show you the ups and downs of the blue link where you're reading the PSI. So if you're having any issues with your machine, not that I've had, but with previous ones when I've been uh, worrying about what's going on with my PSI, the blue link absolutely allows you to double check that. So I'm resting at 1500 PSI, which I'm totally comfortable with. That's where I want to be at. Let's, uh, let me um, get this going. There is one cabinet done. 
That's just the door. So you know what it looks like when you're spraying the cabinet door. You can see that pressure go up. I'm resting. Anytime you're within 50 of your resting PSI, that's a good sign. So. So there is the blue link review. We're resting at 1500. I got to get finished spraying, but that is your blue link review. We'll get a little bit more detail. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask. You can find me on Instagram at splash underscore painting um, for any other further questions, but have a great day and I will talk to you later.